Hey there, Matt Filio in the studio. Um, here to share something a little different with you than what I normally do. Um, I had a student um, that saw one of my uh, courses remarked on my setup that I have here for uh, holding my reference photo um, next to my painting. And I wanted to share that with you today because she thought it was really cool. And I don't know, maybe this is something that would be useful to you as well. Um, uh, what I used to do is print off little pictures um, at Walgreens or another uh, photo developing place and I would tack them uh, next to my canvas but I just got tired of making trips um, you know, to Walgreens or other places and in trying to print them off on my own computer a lot of times the image would lack quality and you'd have to have little pictures and big pictures um, and then I thought hey what if I just use a, um, you know a device like this uh, a tablet and somehow get the tablet to sit next to the painting I'm working on and you can see I have um, my sketch uh, for painting I'm currently working on a commission portrait and then I have my tablet next to that and um, the way I'm holding it up is something I invented. The, the lady thought it was really cool what I made here. I just thought, well, you do what you got to do to make things work, right? And I guess if I wasn't an artist, I'd probably be a, a mad scientist. <laughs> you know, I just, I always love inventing things and making things. And anyway, I just want to share this with you. So when you have um, something like this, and this is a Kindle Fire, um, you could use an iPad or any other tablet and you get your photo on there then you can zoom in and you can look you know just specific areas and really see the detail that you're trying to paint so this is really useful um, to use your tablet for that purpose and what I do is I just set it up in this cardboard container it's just corrugated cardboard um, and then I have a uh, bulletin board which I can move this anywhere I want it with thumbtacks and if you're using a um, canvas board you can tack your canvas board in you could actually put in a, a larger canvas um, just by opening up the top and putting that canvas on top of the bulletin board and leaving it behind um, I've done that as well um, but anyway, I just want to show this design to you really quick. Um, how I made this little contraption for holding my Kindle. So I have it tacked on with a whole bunch of thumbtacks. And it takes quite a few to hold it, hold it up. So that's one thing you want to make sure it's on there sturdily and it's not going to fall. Um, and so what I have is basically, you know, this cardboard holder, and then I have um, a piece of tag board that I tape to the back. And this is just a shipping box for a um, organizer that I purchased. Uh, basically, just a, a book shipping box, and then I added this stiff um, mat board to the back. And what that does is it holds it at an angle because when it's at an angle like this it's way way easier to see than if you just simply had it flat and flush you know like the canvas itself and so um, that's how I set it up I tack it here here and here and then I also tack this side as well you can see the holes in there and then that holds it up um, uh, that's basically it. I just wanted to share this with you. I uh, hope this is something that might be useful to you um, in your painting because when you're doing realistic portrait painting, um, having the reference photo nearby and being able to zoom into certain areas uh, so you can paint it accurately is so important. Um, if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, you can go to Realistic Acrylic Portrait School and I have a series of tutorials on portrait painting, all different aspects. 
uh, at realisticacrylic.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And uh, that way we'll keep this, keep this knowledge and this uh, message spreading on to other people. Uh, so anyway, have a blessed day and we'll talk to you soon.